welcome back to Crap Strategies Live. I have a bit of a different video for you today, guys. I'm going to show you my home practice craps table. And I have a Vegas trip scheduled for later this month, so I'm saving my gambling budget for that. And I figured I'd show you uh, a couple cool things about my home craps table here that I think make it a little bit unique. Maybe give you some ideas for your own craps table. So my dad and I brainstormed some ideas for this and he put it together. I'm sure he'd be willing to put it together for you or at least cut the, uh, cut the wood so that you can assemble it at home uh, for a few bucks. But that's not what this video is about. I just want to show you what I got here. I'd love to hear what uh, you think. First thing I want to show you, which isn't anything special, it's just how we made it. So table, of course, has everything you need. Uh, the diamond back, the felt, uh, proper dimensions. Uh, just a bit of a shelf here. No rack or drink rack or anything or for the chips. Just set them on top. Uh, so to give you an idea of how we made this, uh, just simple thin planks here, large planks for the side. Uh, got the floorboard here. That's the uh, entire size of the table, of course. And the legs down under, we actually kind of put them too close to the center. It'd be better if they were out more toward the corners. A little bit top heavy. Uh, one of the more difficult parts of the build are the corners here. So what he did was similar to this wood piece here. He did that with uh, thicker pieces and we just simply stacked them and bonded them. And there you go. So it works well. It took a while to figure that part out. <laughs> All right. And now I'm going to show you two ideas we had that I'm really excited about. So the first exciting aspect of this table that I want to show you is a solution to having a giant 12 foot table in your home. <laughs> how are you supposed to fit a 12 foot craps table in your home or your garage? Uh, usually the spouse doesn't like it. it. Takes up way too much room. Very clunky, hard to get around. My solution is I cut the table in half. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> so I have a 12 foot table at about seven foot in length. And of course, uh, to get the proper throwing distance, you simply can measure out and throw from where you normally would be. Of course, being next to the stick man is just, you know, a step, uh, a step away from the table. Now, the second aspect of this table that I'm very excited to show you is with the felt. So say you have uh, friends over and they spill onto the table. Uh, the felt gets worn, it gets torn. In order to change it, you have to remove all the, basically take the whole table apart. <laughs> take all the screws out, take it apart. Um, and it's a big ordeal. The idea that I had and I don't, I haven't seen anybody else do this, so I might be the only one, or at least the only one to, to videotape it. The solution to easily changing the felt, bam, I created a felt section here. So if something goes wrong with it, I just simply slide it out, replace the felt, slide it back in. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> So this is what it looks like over here. And so you want to change felt, tired of the green, want to go black, slide it out, wrap on the new felt, slide it back in. Yes, sir. All right. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and good luck on your next casino trip.